Uh, Lee Zako here, here for a new update on Cinnamon Kagura New Link, and well, a lot of stuff has been released. So uh, let's get to that, shall we? First up is PvP, and we've got a new character we can get if we reach 500k, and that would be Ryobi. Obviously I'm gonna get her since she's new, because why not? And I think they have kind of restructured the PvP again, in which it depends on your rank and it gets higher, higher, obviously. Maybe that's just me. I haven't done PvP that much, so don't quote me on that. Alright, so that's it for PvP. But it's where it comes to the events, where it's kind of more interesting. But first, we've got the typical event, this time a Hanabi SSR that we can awaken. As per usual, I think it me as per usual, I think we need to get all four of these um, items, 50 of them, so that we can actually awaken this Hanabi. And I think there is also, yeah, there's also new parts towards this, in which 7, 8, and 9 will give us orbs to actually increase her um, stat scrolls, so you can go with that. It's been a while since we actually had an SSR-focused event, but yeah, why not? I'll do these as well, because free timers. But that's not it. That's not all. <laughs> I think this is like that cost that costume that this person that this character has. It's another teacher, isn't it? I'm not too sure because I've only watched up to the anime. I'm not too versed in the game, so I'm presuming she is one of the teachers from a different school because she has got that outfit on. And yeah, we can get medals, and then on the tenth one, we get ten tamas and a title. I might just do this as well, but I, considering this is similar to this, the Fubuki battle, I think it's gonna be kind of hard. It's, this is hard mode essentially. So if you can get through all the, if you can get through all the missions, that's cool. You, you get 15 tamas, so yeah, go for it. And that will lead it down to... So, um, the Fubuki challenge has been reopened, so there's another chance we can get the initial leader SSR to be upgraded to level 120. And now this can be this this can be done with the uh, Hanzo girls set for Asuka, who can also be max limit broken to <laughs> level 120. The biggest problem for me is that yeah, I might put I might just um, get these medals at the very least. The biggest problem I don't have a character to do that with, so. I'll be just stocking up on that, really. <laughs> and that will lead it down to... The Gacha. There's, there's not a new one, but it's more or less the paid ones. So I'm guessing... Spend 50 tamas, paid tamas, and you can get one of the... Free Banco characters. Lucky for them. <laughs> and I think there is, well, there's now a chance you can get a ticket and randomly get one of these characters. Well, not randomly. I think it's mainly from the swimsuit character line. I'm not too sure whether this is paid or not either. As I said, I'm free, free to play with this. But that's about it for the new gotchas. It's all paid. I'm presuming. <laughs> but yeah, overall it is a whole lot of stuff and a whole lot of grinding to be honest. 
Let me just check. Oh yeah, just a bit of PvP. Okay, we've got a few Tamos and some gold medals. That's fine. 120. So yeah, a lot of stuff, a lot of grinding. Um, I'll probably be focused on PvP for now, and then after I get to 500k, I'll stop that to actually move on to do the event one, especially with those medals and trying to awaken that event Hanabi. So, a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> uh, it came to the worst time when my internet's slow again. Ugh. Alright, so I'll leave it at that. Good luck with the grinding guys and I did kind of forget something, um, I did another one of those temples, and got nothing. <laughs> okay, I'll really leave it here. <laughs> LA, out.